Yellow Buckets presents The 12 Toasty Reviews of Christmas What's going on comrades? Welcome back to another Toasty, toasty. Review here celebrating the 12 Toasty Reviews of Christmas and uh, we gotta go under the tree and see what we get today That's something kind of creepy <laughs> We got two different, we got a peppermint patty, and it looks like it's bootleg imported cousin. Your traditional York peppermint. Yeah. And Pearson here, some mint hats. Some bonus narration by James. I suggested this by a friend, Sarah of mine, so thank you. You know who you are, and I appreciate the holiday suggestion here. Um, I've never had Pearson's, so. Go back into the test room. And give her a go. All right, comrades, we're back. Question is, what do we start with? And honestly, never had a Pearson's peppermint patty, or mint patty. Um, excuse the lighting. I kind of look like a uh, like Darth Vader or something right now. It's a little less Darth Vader like right now. So um, I'm gonna try this one. It really does make me look like my eyes aren't even open and like... Oh, <laughs> yeah, but no. Okay, these things are pretty big. The texture on that thing is fairly nice. James, we need your help to finish these. But, it's your typical... Looks like the surface of, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna crack it. Ooh. Ooh. Would you consider that frosting? The white stuff? Like, is it's more it... like frosty ice cream. Like, not ice cream. What, what would you like call? Cheap, right? What would you that call the white stuff in the middle of uh, peppermint patties? But anyways, let's give this a shot. It's typical peppermint patty. But I'll be honest with you. Excuse me, talking with food in my mouth. This one's got a little pull chew to it. Not in a bad way. It's just a little more chewy. Okay. Not bad. Um, I'm just gonna have that little piece. I'm gonna try not to go too overboard with my sugar intake, but this toast you review series threw that off the wagon, so. Christmas isn't the time for dieting. Hell no, it isn't. Cleanse a palate with some Speed Reserve. Now the classic York. This is the York, a little bit smaller. Than the other one was. You can see it's a little bit. The other one was a little bit rounder, a little daintier. But it's all good. The Pearson's was all right. Let's give the old old York a shot. I don't even really need that much of this one. That's all I'm really gonna need. Uh, well, nah, come on. There we go. So let's hit this York. Okay, this one. York potency. You get that potency of just like straight menthol peppermint. It hits your back of your nose right away. It is, it's like being on a mountaintop. Um but really the peppermint um the York peppermint is a lot more stronger and potent. And it's a smoother bite. Let's say for the Pearsons, you get more bang for your buck. So when it comes to York versus Pearson's, it's tough. Because they both really taste really good. And honestly, I used to really like peppermint patties, but I don't care for them as much anymore. I still like the flavor and the taste, but I like mint chocolate just in its own form as a chocolate. But to not, you know, get too far off topic, I'm gonna still have to give it to the York. In my opinion, because it's easier to eat um, for me, and I don't mean to say that like again, sound like a 90 year old man, but it's just an easier bite, more flavorful. But the Pearsons definitely is the more bang for your buck, definitely. And if you want, if you love those, I'd I'd say they're probably the better grab because I think I paid like 10 cents more for these two 
I remember, I think I paid like 89 cents for two Pearsons, and it was like 79 cents for one York. So, there you have it. Personal opinion from Drewski. I still lean towards the York, but it's all up for you to decide for yourself. So, let me know in the comments below if you got a preference. Other than that, um, if I had to give them each individual toasty ratings, um, York, that's like a 3.5, 3 well, yeah, like a 3.5, to toasties, with, you know, the Pearsons being a 3, to do toasties, but, um, is the toasty to to toasty thing getting played out? Let me know in the comments below. We're mid-series here at the Holiday Christmas Reviews, but just let me know. Anyways, comrades, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay tuned for another episode of the 12 Toasty Reviews of Christmas. And hopefully next time the Darth Vader lighting won't make me look like whatever. But thank you. Work on that. Boy. Boy.